Hello my dear students I am your educator Burhanuddin and it's time to cram This is the series of acid base and salt chapter 2 class 10 and this is the 13th video lecture of this series So before starting today's video lecture Let's do a quick summary that what I had covered in my previous video lectures. I had completed introduction, then chemical properties of acid and bases, then I had made rapid revision video in which I had covered chemical properties of acid and bases quickly, and then I started section 2.2. What do all acids and all bases have in common? In chemical properties of acid and bases, I had covered total eight activities. If you want to watch all these activities then click the i button or the link of this videos are also given in the description box and with activities i had attached notes also in the description box these are the list of topic of section 2.2 in it i had already completed activity 2.8 then section 2.2.1 what happens to an acid or a base in water solution in section 2.2 i had completed activity 2.9 If you want to watch these video lectures then click the i button. So, what is involved when water is mixed with an acid or a base? To understand it, we will take help of activity 2.10. Step 1: Take 10 ml of water in a beaker. Step 2: Add few drops of concentrated H2SO4 and swill the beaker slowly. Caution: Care must be taken while adding concentrated H2SO4. Step 3 Touch the base of the beaker Is there is any change in temperature Yes temperature of the beaker increases So this is exothermic or endothermic process To answer this question first you need to understand what is exothermic and what is endothermic process The word exo itself means outside it means in exothermic process or a reaction heat is released from the system to surrounding so what is system and what is surrounding let's connect it with our activity our beaker is our system whole universe except beaker is known as surrounding heat is released from the beaker to surround then that process will be known as exothermic process let's talk about exothermic process let's talk about endothermic process the word endo itself means inside it means In endothermic process or reaction heat is gained from the system to the surrounding which means if heat is taken by the beaker from the surrounding then that process will be known as endothermic process for example if the room temperature is lower then the temperature of the beaker will also increase it means beaker has gained the heat or the energy from the surrounding so now can you answer this question is this is an endothermic process or exothermic process yes You are correct. It is an exothermic process. The temperature of beaker is increasing. Repeat the above activity with sodium hydroxide pellets and record your observations. The process of dissolving an acid or a base in water is highly exothermic one. Care must be taken while mixing concentrated nitric acid or sulfuric acid with water. The acid must always be added slowly to the water with constant stirring. If water is added to concentrated acid the heat generated may cause the mixture of splash out and cause burns the glass container may also break due to the excessive local heating look out the warning sign as shown in the figure on the can of the concentrated sulfuric acid and on the bottle of sodium hydroxide pellet so the mixing of acid or a base with water results in decrease in concentration of ions per unit volume it means that when you will add acid or a base in water the ions concentration will be decreased per unit volume such a process is called dilution and the acid or a base is said to be diluted the notes of this activity are also attached in the description box go to my blog or website and download it from there and another notes are also available on my bloggers website So kindly check it. Topic which will be covered in next video lecture is 
questions on what happens to an acid or a base in water solution that is section 2.2 so if you find this video informative then like it and share it with your classmates so that it can help to them also and if you have any doubts then comment it in the comment box or you can direct message me on instagram if you have any doubt the link of the instagram or the id of the instagram is shown on the screen and if you have not subscribed to our channel time to cram then subscribe it hit the notification icon or bell icon so that you will be notified when my new video will be uploaded that's all for today's video lecture thank you